Why is this not in the Olympics? Hi everyone, this is Nui Sensei and today I am reviewing the Descartes Mini Recurve Bow. Yes, I said that. I'm serious, this is a fully functioning miniature recurve bow. Now while this was originally designed to be a desktop ornament, the owner of this bow has made some modifications to turn this into a practical shooting bow. This is a three-piece takedown recurve design. The riser is made from anodized aluminium. It comes in three colors, black, red or blue. It comes with limbs made from what I believe is carbon fiber, if you are to believe the uh, print on the limbs. And it is very much a Olympic freestyle design. It even comes with bushings for, yes, stabilizer rods. I am not joking. The shape of the grip, as you can see, is a pretty good design. It's the same as most recurve designs today. It has the right size and support for the hand. The downside is that the grip is a little small for most people. The bow does come with its own string, but this is not that string. What you have here is a fully functional custom-made miniature Dacron bowstring made on a custom-made miniature string jig. We've placed knocking points as well as part of a rubber finger guard so this can be properly shot off the fingers. The bow does not come with arrows so we crafted our own. These were full-length beam flash 1400s. They've been cut down to around uh, I don't know, 10 inches which is the right length for ants or four-year-olds. We've also stuck on a Hoyt Super Rest and as you can see, it's ridiculously oversized in comparison to the rest of the bow. And just to add to the cute factor, we even have a mini quiver. But enough talk. You're probably wondering, how does it shoot? Well, we're at 5 meters, so let's see how well we do. That's a 10. Okay, seriously, what the heck? At full draw, which isn't really that long, uh, it does come out surprisingly well. Uh, the draw weight would be the equivalent to around 10, 12 pounds, which is actually the same as our junior bows. I mean, seriously, this thing does fling out these carbon arrows at a pretty decent velocity. I don't have a chronograph to uh, measure how long it is, but I can definitely hammer the target from 5 meters. I shoot relatively consistently, considering that I don't exactly have an anchor point. <laughs> but it works. I think I need more flair. Let's try uh, full back tension and uh, the Olympic follow through. <clears throat> Actually, pretty fun. <laughs> um, I can't explain why this works, but it works. Oh, yeah, look at that follow through.
This is serious business. Oh, that's a nice gripping. A little right there, but spot on. I also want to point out that if I'm achieving these groupings with a desktop ornament at close distance, what's the point of showing off, you know, speed shooting and snap shooting technique and then going in analyzing groupings? Now, I'm not saying this to poke fun at any particular person, but it's something I've observed uh, in various archers who do shooting videos or form checks and they get into a lot of data about the way they shoot but literally I'm just hammering gold <laughs> by pulling a bow back at around what five inches and that's not really something to brag about that's this general effect of pointing a bow in the same general direction all right let's increase the stakes a bit here we're at around uh, 10 meters I uh, obviously don't have a sight scene for this, or sight, or even an anchor point for string walking. So um, let's see how we go with 10 meters. Oh, that's a gold right there, right in the nine. Oh, this thing is beautiful. No kidding. Oops, that didn't go very well. Uh, I need more back tension, yeah. Mm. Man, this is actually really fun. We'll try and get a, a decent high score with this. I mean, it's making the distance no problem. You can probably shoot an 8, 10 meter indoor round with this. That's another gold. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this now. Nice! Let's try that again. That was fun. Nice! some string slap there, making a very realistic bow. Ah, uh, dropped it. It's blue, six o'clock. Black, six o'clock. Ah, uh, same grouping, I'm going too low. Need to uh, check my gap. There we go, that's in the red. I think gap shoes is the only way to use this. Oh, yep, that's in the red. Good. And let's do one more end because that was super fun. Let's see if we get some gold this time. <laughs> oh, bad start. In line, six o'clock. In the black or white. It's uh, six o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock or white. Okay, in the red. Come on, give me a gold. I'm dying for this. That's a gold. That's a 10. I'm actually shooting at my um, average for my Olympic bow here. <laughs> That's another gold. Oh, we're getting places. Not um, the Olympic Games, but we're getting places. Ah, uh, drop that. I mean, to be completely fair, that's a pretty good alignment. Like, the, the vertical is, is dead on. There's, there's no fluctuation. So, my release is completely fine, uh, but it's my elevation, which makes sense, considering I have no anchor point. And you can see I've got a few in the gold there. That's two in the gold, beautiful shots. And the rest are dead in line. What an interesting uh, experience that was. I'm going to have to stop it there because I'm having way too much fun with this. Uh, yeah, the day cut recurve bow, it, it works. It's actually a pretty decent bow. The uh, feeling of the uh, riser is quite decent. Um, it is a proper aluminium riser. Of course, it's about like that big, so it's not going to be a, a good um, feel in the hand but it does function. Now, of course, like I said before, we have modified it with a new string, which is somewhat faster, and of course, custom-made arrows, which we made from broken spare arrows from the club. But when you do kit it out with 
proper equipment like an arrow rest and arrows it actually works pretty well you actually can shoot with it so uh, pretty impressive um, if you really like the cartel mini compound and you wanted a mini recurve well this is it I, I do recommend this uh, mostly as a desktop ornament but if you had to use this as a shooting item it functions it works I'm pretty happy with it this is New Sensei. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.